Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Gonzai. Last time we looked into why Bobby might be missing, and we didn't find out a whole lot. We found out he might have gone somewhere called Alt Miller's Cave, because that's where he normally goes when he disappears. Nothing there. I, don't know. I knew there's nothing there. I don't know why I checked for. Uh, is there anything else? Do, 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 do. No, there's only there's only one more area left. Ooh, what's this? Ah, uh, wow, this is weird. Um, don't think there's anything in here, right? Yep. Originally, the ancient Venus ruins lie buried beneath Bobby's lighthouse. The Venus ruins are the remnants of a magnificent ancient civilization. The lighthouse is being built on the foundation of the Venus ruins. Might not make a lot of sense now, maybe later. Bobby makes all the scholars perform all sorts of research. Owner of Bobby's favorite scholar, Creighton, is now. <gasps> Lord Bobby expected great results from Creighton's journey. I wonder what he expected Creighton to learn from all that research. So yeah, this is where Creighton came from. He came from Tolby. It is said that long ago, the power of alchemy was sealed away. But why would it have been sealed away? Creighton's journey was meant to revive the lost art of alchemy. We hope, of course, that he can explain why it had been sealed away too. So... With that, we now learn why Bobby was even- or sorry, why uh, Creighton was in um, Veil to begin with. He was sent by uh, uh, Bobby to learn the secrets of the place. Let's give that to Ivan. Bobby's defense is just sad compared to everyone else. Did I check this right? I think so. Yeah. So yeah, there's a hard nut in that one jar there, which is the last item we could get here. Uh, no matter how many times I run the experiment, I never get the results I want. My alchemy skills will uh, have weakened as Creighton warned me that they would. Still, my experiments in alchemy are progressing better than before. Maybe Creighton's research is meeting with success. Did I talk to this guy already? Originally, there was ancient ruins inside of Bobby's lighthouse. There's said to be an extremely long tunnel beneath those ruins. No one's ever reached the end of the tunnel in the ancient ruins. I'm sure I'd sure like to know what's at the end of that tunnel. Hmm. So, book and tell the encyclopedia of ancient ruins. <coughs> 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 Excuse me, jeez, an encyclopedia of ancient ruins, hey? <laughs> That's very specific. There's no book entitled Experiments in Alchemy. The experiments failed again. I have tons of questions for Creighton. So it seems Creighton is looked up on quite a bit here. There's no book entitled Study the Venus Ruins. Many ancient civilizations still sleep in that area. That's pretty cool. I don't also, I've always wondered what the heck are inside these? I guess they're just experiments? Just cooking ram stuff? Is that stew? Is that today's stew? Um, yeah, so Lord Bobby sent Creighton to find out what's going on here, what's going on with alchemy, but I guess he sent him to research uh, Mount Aleph. So the entire time, we just there. Colossal, colossal tunnel. This is pretty cool, I like this. This is nice music. <clears throat> and suddenly we're back here. I don't think there's anything here. Uh, just in case. I don't have anything in my notes, but I always got a feeling, you know. It says, ooh. It is locked. Dang it! Gosh dangers. Here's why it's locked. This guy actually leads to uh, where Edom is, and I guess that's where Lord Bobby would be sitting if he wasn't gone. This is really cool. I like this a lot. I also like how there's all these like, well, I was gonna say low poly guys, but they're like different. They have like different shirts on and stuff. It's weird. Go for it. That's him cheering for you, little guy. Even the small warriors have a can win if they have enough spirit. I've waited a whole year to see close. So I can't wait for the finals. I didn't think the battles and trials would be so fierce. I can't even imagine what kind of battles the finals would be. Watching the trials makes me really excited. The battles are incredible. The trials are based on personal trials. I can excited watching. I just proud skilled warriors battles and so enchanting. With fantastic physiques. Why, if I was younger. Oops. If you talk to this guy, I should just mind reading him first. No matter how good a warrior is, there's always someone who's better. <gasps> yeah! Go! You can do it! I believe in you. Do it, do it, do it. Lift that extremely heavy looking pillar. Well, I think I shit myself. Red flags, Oh, sad. <laughs> he runs off crying, great. You have to make it to the countless matches to reach the finals. That warrior failed his trial, so he's disqualified here. You have to talk to him again. See the next one go up. Yeah, I believe in you. In your little bristle hair. Uh... Oh my god, he did it! Yeah, suck it, all the warriors. 
Yellow, or, uh, white flag. <laughs> Great. Victory music. You have to be you have to perfect techniques like that to reach the finals. That warrior cleaved the child, but I doubt he'll make the finals. Cool, I've talked to him again. Okay. Yeah. So there you go. Let's let's do a little cutscene and see. That's just, I like that a lot. Nice little polish show. They didn't have to do that at all, but it definitely makes it more believable. Yeah, I guess it's it's weird that there's like an even entrance. I guess maybe these are like um five star seats that like normal people don't get. Maybe these are like all friends of Bobby. Did I go upstairs yet? I did not. Ooh. This is interesting. Shiba has been staying as Lord Bobby's guest for some time. She comes from the town of Lalavero on the Gondwan continent. She was taken hostage to force the Lalaverans to build the Bobby Lighthouse. It is so heartbreaking to see her tears and hear her pleas to be released. So, from this, we learn that Bobby has a prisoner. This girl over here. Shiba was revered as a child of the gods in her hometown, but she looks like an average child to me. She was not permitted to leave this room. Child of the gods or not, I do not think she can make it to Gondolin alone. Bobby is holding me hostage in order to complete his lighthouse on Lalavero. When shall I ever be able to return to my homeland? A child of the gods, hey? Even if I escaped Bobby Palace, my power could not get me to Lalavero. Your power? It would make me. It would be impossible for me to make it through the deadly Sahala alone. Did you just. No, it is nothing. So she sensed that we are mind reading her. Interesting. <clears throat> More on that later. And then the final room in this palace. Good guy. Yeah, I wasn't kidding when I said that's not even the final room. We got the, the throne room here. And one, here's the final. Nope, here's the final room. <laughs> this goes on forever. It's a bookcase here. Isaac Sims bookcase. Hey, it's Bobby's diary. It reads the clo this colossal might be my last. Huh. It looks like Lord Bobby didn't use his bed this morning. What does it mean? I guess Lord Bobby did not go to sleep last night. What could have kept him up so restless before his favorite time of year at Colosso? Make him leave town, go to a dangerous cave with monsters. I mean, we saw a picture of him. He did not look. This is him, by the way, in case you couldn't already guess. Um, he doesn't. He has a cane, so he can't be that strong, right? He shouldn't be able to fight monsters. And what's with them disappearing? Is that because it's it's like a dark cave? Or maybe another reason? Should we try? You know what? Let's try this uh, lucky spring one more time here. We got a couple extra lucky medals. Oh, there we go. I actually wanted to hit something. I think this gives me the chance to get a devious base. Come on! Oh! All right, we're gonna uh, we'll, we'll keep one. Um, like I was mentioning before, there is a way to manipulate this. It is very difficult. It has to do with like saving and closing the game and leaving and coming back. It's weird. Um, so I might do that to get the previous mace with the last lucky medal here. Yeah, curses. Actually, an earth shield is really good. I, I like how I said curses, unironically. Weird. We'll leave that for now. Uh, earth shield is actually really cool. I'm actually surprised I got only one of these. These are actually one of the most common items you get. Uh, use a cover 150 uh, hit points. That's pretty freaking awesome, man. It's totally awesome, dude. Uh, we'll give it to Isaac. 11 antidotes. Good lord. Is there anything else I can sell? I guess I can sell Sheila. Oh, I got an Adam's Hub as well. I should equip that. If there's anyone to even equip it to at this point. Yeah. Boost PP. Uh, unicorn ring. There we go. Let's go sell. Because it sounds like it might be going spelunking again, you guys. We saw some other stuff as well. I don't think we're ever gonna use herbs ever again. Ooh, probably never use oil drops again ever either, so. Smoke bombs, I don't think we need those. They're not really particularly useful. Even potions, I'd say, they're not really helpful. We'll keep them just in case. There's a steel helm we could sell. Uh, bramble seeds. I don't know if we've ever shown that or not. We'll get rid of the elixir. Just open up some uh, inventory space here. Herbs, we don't need herbs. Seven coins each. <laughs> That's pretty sad. Smoke bomb. We don't really need the healing ring, but we will keep it just in case. Uh, I'm hoarding 11 antidotes in bloody sane, mate. Unicorn ring. Did that? Oh, I thought Garrett had that. I guess not. Okay, that's everything. Good. 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 Alright. 
Let's see if you can go for- I don't think they actually explained where Altmiller Cave was, did they? That's okay. Um, if we don't find the last monster we haven't fought here, by the time we hit the cave, I'll cut until I find them, just to throw that out there. There it is! <laughs> it's over here. And Armored Rat! Perfect! Look at that! So, Armored Rats! They have- oh no, that's a page back. Oh, there we go! Broil! Perfect! Easy peasy lemon squeezy. They drop 77 experience points and 100 coins, apparently. Uh, they also are level 18, they have 147 hit points. Um, they have a 3.125% chance of dropping an herb. Let's toss this on. Just for my own sake. It doesn't work here! Oh, duh. Oh, that's right. I need. I need. Does that have any? No, he doesn't have any more. Don't do it, don't do it! Oh! Alt Miller Cave. Uh, going back to the armor rat, they have a 3.125% chance of dropping an herb. Uh, they can use Fortify, which is identical to actually just defending, it's just flavor text. And Total Defense, which uh, lowers damage taken to it by 10%, so that's kind of cool. <coughs> uh, different way of defending, so it really only defends and attacks. Um, Alright, yeah, we're pretty safe here. And you'll see. It's a little circle of light that, en that envelops me. Oh, I'm a rat. Alright, interesting. <laughs> Alright, so Alt Miller Cave! <laughs> you can find armor rats in here, no mages, mad moles, foul dirge, which all of which you've seen before. There's also quite a few new enemies, actually, that we'll be going over as we uh, fight. Getting deep and dank and dark. So, this is the uh, entire. just this area. A tip if you use reveal. It does just that. It reveals a lot of the room. Also, whenever you do get about- Oh, there we go. There's some new stuff here. Uh, here, real sorry. Look at those spooky shields, you guys. Start with the clay gargoyles, and there's also a golem here. It looks a little bit different from a Smeagol himself. Clay gargoyle, the level 18. They have 209 hit points each. They drop 147 coins and 100 experience points. They have a 3.125% chance of dropping a nut. Um, they have the ability to use Guard, which boosts their defense. Sonic Wave, which has the ability to, uh, let's start attacking here so we could get some unleashes here. Um, they have the Guard, which boosts their defense. Sonic Wave, which could paralyze. And use Spire, which is an Earth damage move. Forcible Arm? Okay, Forcible Arm. Um, well, actually, let's go over the Golem in general. He's level 18, he has 266 hit points. He drops 161 gold, 105 experience points. He has a 1.5625% chance of dropping a Vial. There we go, I thought that was going to happen. Uh, they have the abilities Forceable Arm, which is uh, very strong, and I believe it has the... No, it doesn't actually, never mind. There is a move later on that could bring your add up to 1 HP, that was a side effect of it. Gears level 19 Warrior, maximum HP by 8 by... Up by 8, PP by 3, attack 4, defense 2, agility 4, and a whole bunch of... And I'm glad I'm not out of that too, nice. Nice, bro. Um, do that. Down the stairs we go. So, we'll be able to see Bobby. If we use it in here, the treasure is really a mimic. So, I have this written down. Let's just attack him. Let's see if we can get some of these unleashes to, to happen, shall we? Absolutely not. <laughs> not a single one. Alright, a little bit boring, but here we go again. Um, The mimic, he's level 21. Wow, again? Really? Come on. A critical? That's not what I wanted either! Not even one. Good lord, man, that was sad. Uh, right. <laughs> Mimic, level 21, has 767 hit points, uh, 415 gold, 374 experience points, which you saw there. He drops the Water of Life! Uh, he has ability to use Curse, which kills you in 8 turns, Debilitate, which lowers the defense, Nettle, or Needle, depending on how you want to pronounce that, um, uh, which is just an earth damage based move, which hurts you, and you can also use sleep and side drain. Alright, let's go through this cave. This cave is actually kind of confusing. Oh, there. Cut it, cut it. I really want to get some of these unleashes to happen, so let's see if we can get that to work. Life leash, there we go. And he has hit points with fully And life nourish! Well, I should also not heal Garrett. Okay. I don't know why that didn't heal him. Maybe it was just a chance of healing him. And dead. Uh. Okay, we've seen Isaac's move. I, I, it's just Ivan, right? Moral danger. Yeah, that's the only one we haven't seen yet. Uh, I'm gone right. Is that just a dead end? It sure is. It sure gosh danger is. 
This always confused me a lot as a kid. I don't know why. You can actually walk right past this, go downstairs, continue onwards. Uh, but I was always confused by it. Oh, just an armored rat. Because it's like, for some reason, it either looked like a weird map to me. Wow, this guy's really taking a beating. There we go, life nourish. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Ivan's on me, I haven't seen you. A little 19 mage, HP up by 7, PV 3, attack 4, defense 1, agility 4, 100 coin. I always thought this was either like a weird map, or like a weird crack on the floor, or a glitch. It scared me for some reason. I don't know why it actually did, but it actually, yeah, it actually like made me like scared for some reason. I was 7 when I played this game, so weird irrational fears. But if you walk up to and press A, you, you can see me? And the, and the music changes to the normal cave music, which is weird. Someone's there. Wrapped in synergetic lights. Who could it be? You know about synergy? And you could see me? Come on, mister. Don't hide. Show yourself. Even if I wanted to show myself. As you can see, I cannot move. What do you mean, as you can see? You're invisible. Oh, that's right. You say you can't move. What happens? Hmm, yes. I ran out of my drought and collapsed here. Alcohol? Drought? What exactly what exactly what kind of drought is it? You couldn't even begin to comprehend if I tried to tell you. <coughs> Seem to be in a lot of pain. Your life depends on that drought, huh? It does. Could you do me a favor? A favor? What is it? I would like you to get my drought for me. Get it? Where is it? Deep in this cave. What? Is there like a pharmacy down there? <laughs> uh, I love it, Mio. Woody, aren't we? I'll have to tell you how to find it. Can you do this for me? Uh, just look at that silhouette, and um, it's not exactly hard to figure out who this might be, so yeah, unless it's like a weird decoy. Are you kidding, Isaac? We haven't even actually got to see in this guy. He said he couldn't move if he wanted to, right? So he's in trouble. It's only natural to want to help. Yeah, Garrett, jeez. I agree with Ivan. Whoever he is, he needs our help. Fine, okay. We should help people in need. Is that better? Jeez, Garrett. So angry over nothing. We're here anyways. Who can get it for me? What do we have to, what do we have to do to get your drought? First, you'll have to go deep into the cave. You'll find five rocks sticking out of the ground. Rotate. Really weird! When I was younger, I used to think that said route. And I was very confused. And I didn't understand. Rotate the rocks on the left and right sides. When you try the rock when you turn the rocks in the order, five colored lights will appear. Colored lights? That sounds weird. That's right. Lights will appear on the wall. There'll be five colors. Blue, green, white, yellow, and red. Turn the five rocks in accordance with the colors. Right. Spin the rocks in accordance with the color of the light. The blue light corresponds to the rock farthest to the left. In order, the other rocks are green, white, yellow, and red. When you see the light, rotate the corresponding rock. So, in order... Left to right, the colors are blue, green, white, yellow, red. Correct. If you do this correctly, a hidden door will open. <laughs> what? A door? Somewhere deep in the cave? Who put it there? An ancient civilization. Long since vanished. Oh, please hurry. Seems to be in a lot of pain. We better find that cave, Isaac. Nah. Did you forget the color, the order of the rock? So, I'm not really concerned about this. Uh, of course, whatever the colors come, I need them. If they don't get me that drought, I, I'll... Wait. The drought is on its tail behind the door. Weird to tell me that. You'd think that, you know... Duh. <laughs> Actually, that's a pretty good spot to end. Um, the plot thickens even more. What is going on, you may be wondering. And I'm also wondering this. Okay. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Should we end in a battle scene? I've never done that before. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, the best way to support me is by leaving a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. In the next episode, we'll head deeper into the cave. 
and uh, find out what's going on, I hope? I don't know, this is getting weird. That was a drought, that was a weird rotating rocks, there's lights, what, I don't want, I don't know what's going on. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you guys next time. Bye-bye!